Hello guys and welcome to this new video where we will talk about the 10 most useful Blender add-ons that will be really helpful in working with Blender. So simply enable these add-on from the preference. These are all built-in add-ons and start working with it. So without wasting time, let's get started. Number one is the cell fracture. It's a really cool add-on which can give an amazing fracture effect. All you need to do is to select the object which you want to fracture it and then press F3 or the search key that you have uh, some people have the search key on spacebar so if you have that click on it uh, and then you you need to search for the cell fracture so search on it and you will get this click on it and then you can play with the settings and you can get something awesome like uh, here I if I change this one option to this one and click on OK so as you can see it convert our cube to something like this now if I go to the object and then rigid body and then active and for the plane I would also do the same physics but with passive and now if I play the animation you will get this amazing animation number two is the loop tool this add-on can do a lot but the most popular thing I ever seen is the making a circle hole from a square so for example if I have this plane and I select some pieces and then press right click go to the loop cut and then circle and magically it will convert it to circle and now we can extrude or whatever we want Number 3 is the Node Wrangler. It's a really popular add-on but most of the people use it as a very basic level. And I want to highlight something more that you can do with it. Like if I press Alt and right click and drag it. So as you can see it automatically connect and you don't really need to be careful about it. And no matter how far you are from the object, you are from the nodes, it will connect it automatically. And one other thing you can do with it that if you press Alt Shift and do the same thing you will get a small menu where you can choose where you want to connect in node. Number 4 is the Archi Mesh. It's a library add-on which, which help us in architecture so basically it adds some new objects to you. some new objects to the add menu like room, door, roof, window, stairs etc. Number 5 is the IVY Gen. So this is a really useful add-on which add this kind of effect to an object. So select an object and then go to the create you will get a new menu where you need to click on the IVI new IVI and then you can play with the settings and you will get something really cool result something like this number six is the image as plane it's an add-on for importing image as plane it's mostly used for adding trees to an environment so if I press shift A and then here I can find this new option image as plane so now if I click on it then you need to browse the alpha image that you have so I have these trees alphas I will select on it and as you can see it add our image as a plane and now I can make it at background and I can get something really cool result. So the number 7 is the extra object. It's an add-on which allow us a library where you can get a lot of different models such as diamonds, wall factory, honeycomb and more. Number 8 is the tissue add-on. This is a, an awesome this is an awesome add-on which allows us to create different complex shape as you can see on the screen right now. So here we will use it very simply. So I have a monkey head and I will add a cone and then select the cone first and then the monkey head and then go to the edit and then click on this option tessellate and you will get this spiky object. So the number 9 is the landscape. It's an add-on which allows us to create landscape. 
so press shift a and then mesh and and then light scale then you will get this menu where you can change a lot of things such as operate present which is actually the type of light scan that you want so play with the settings and you will get something cool number 10 is the bold tool it's an add-on which make boolean operation fast and so easy so select two objects that you want to boolean and then go to the edit and you will get this menu where you can do all the operations that you normally do with the add-on so that's it for now guys hope you like the video if you like then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos so for now bye